wet spot on the uh, stool here for me. So, how are you doing tonight? Good. Yeah. All right, somebody's out there. All right, so pardon me while I hold notes. You know, comedy version. Yeah, what can I say? So, uh, I'm trying to at least be the second funniest guy from Conway tonight. Uh, how many residents or locals do we have around here? Okay, how many residents? You know what the difference is? A resident, you know, and this was explained to me right out of the gate when I moved here. No matter how long I was here, I was always going to be a resident. This was explained to me by my boss after I told him that I was buying a house, who proceeded to tell me that, you know, the difference is between a Yankee and a damn Yankee. The damn Yankee stays. Apparently, he still has issues with the war of northern aggression and losing that down here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. so, when I bought my house, originally I was living uh, a lot closer to work than uh, I am now. Error? Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm a geek, sorry. Anyway, I was living a lot closer to work than I am now. And uh, back then, when I had uh, even lived closer to work, I had a motorcycle. It seemed reasonable to drive a motorcycle to work. Then I moved to Conway. Made my commute a lot longer. I kind of decided, you know, sharks scare me less than tourist drivers. So I got scuba diving equipment. Mm. <laughs> and, uh, I do enjoy scuba diving, but uh, my friends are still puzzled. I'm uh, one of the, not exactly the outdoor type, but pretty much a geek. Uh, if it doesn't have a keyboard or a game controller, chances are I don't do it. I'm kind of a wimp when it comes to uh, wildlife, though. Anything bigger than me, not a chance. And, and pretty much scared out of my mind uh, for anything in the ocean. So I wanted to get out, go diving, see what's out there. But, you know, I was trying to figure out how can I do this. And I learned about this thing at Epcot Center called Dive Quest. Pretty cool. You get to go in Disney's aquarium. And I figured sharks can't eat me at Disney. That's cool. So I did that. I lived through it. It was pretty cool. I was confident. All right, this is cool. I can do this. So a couple days later, I'm going diving off West Palm Beach, Florida. I dive into the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Just awesome. A few minutes later, the uh, dive master gets my attention, points right below me at this moray eel that I'm almost on top of. And I wondered if the other divers around me could see the yellow that seemed to be encircling me at that moment. So... <laughs> but, yeah, it wasn't a lot of fun. I'm kind of on a health kick now. Started uh, working out, bicycling, and uh, I'm having fun, doing good. I've always been, you know, good shape biking. Uh, I just wish people would uh, point and laugh and ask me if I'm trying to steal brakes when I'm wearing those shorts. So, as a kid, though, I biked everywhere. My parents encouraged this by saying, I'm "Not driving." <laughs> I want, it worked though. I'm totally ripped below the waist. Fortunately, I still have Flintstones torso to go with it. <laughs> I'm working on it though. I've been doing Weight Watchers since uh, New Year's. Dropped about 40 pounds so far. And uh, it's the second time I've done Weight Watchers. First time I did it, went from uh, 232 pounds down to 157, or as my friends like to put it, my concentration camp weight. That uh, I was really told I didn't look good. They kept telling me, it's like, no, no, don't do that. The, uh, the worst part of the whole thing was, is as skinny as I got, I'm sitting there in the beer, doing the whole thing, trying to look, and I'm still seeing a fat guy in the beer. Because I then realized that deep down, I'm a teenage girl. Mm. <laughs> so... <laughs> So anyway, it's tough being on a diet, though. My friends had a picnic yesterday, and it was great. You know, come on, Dave, let's, come on out, we're having a picnic at work. Awesome. So they've got brats, hot dogs, potato salad, brownies, cookies, all this stuff out of the table. And I'm thinking, well, the mustard's Weight Watchers friendly. I wonder if it's rude for me to, you know, chug it or if I should use, uh, uh, you know, spoonfuls. I, uh... I decided I should not bring that joke up to my friends and laugh them about that, though, because I know my friends. They'd be the ones that'd be going, five bucks says you won't chug it. Those would be my new friends. My old friends uh, know enough that I'd be the guy going, 
If it'd make people laugh and it'd make me money, those are my two things. Yeah, I can do that. Do I have to chuck the whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm getting into comedy because, well, I just finished my second course, and uh, in order for me to have it be socially acceptable for me to get married again, I'm going to have to be in show business. <laughs> the uh, first time I got married, it was because she was pregnant. I was doing the right thing. My friend, who was the lawyer that helped me through that uh, marriage, said to me, you know, thank me a lot for doing the right thing for his career. He had a plaque on his wall that I'll never forget. It said, marriages are made in heaven, but so is thunder and lightning. Mm. <laughs> so I've only got one female in my uh, life now. I've got a little bulldog named Savannah. When I was first looking at getting a dog for some companionship, I started looking around and, eh, what kind should I get? I started reading about bulldogs. It said they like to eat, sleep, burp, and fart. You know, that's a woman I can bond with. <laughs> that's all I got, folks. Thanks. All right.